Here's a perfect draft with the seventh overall pick. At the 1-7, Amon Ross St. Brown. He's missed two games over the past two years. He might lead the league in receptions. He's an elite option in the first round. I can't believe he's dropping to seventh overall. He should go top five. Two, Travis Etienne Jr. People talk about the inefficiencies and the touchdown reliance stuff, but his line got better. Lawrence is healthy this season, and I think he's going to have an amazing year. He's a great pass catcher. He was the RB3 last season. Cup in round three is always a steal. He keeps falling to me in round three. I know he might be going at the end of round two in a lot of mock drafts, but Cup's an elite option this year. Then we got another elite option in DK Metcalf in round four. I think he finishes as a top 12 wide receiver in Ryan Grubb's new offense. He's going to have the best season of his career. At the 5'7", I couldn't pass up Alvin Kamara. I still think he's going to be good. He's going to be good, especially in PPR leagues, because those checkdowns that Carr throws to him, those aren't going away. Six, Rasheed Rice. By the dip. I don't know how he's falling to the sixth round with the season he had last year as a rook. He's going to be way better, and he's the number one option on this offense besides Kelsey. Round seven, Zamir White. I think he's going to be a workhorse back, score a lot of touchdowns this season. In round eight, Jake Ferguson. Tight end nine last season, second on the team in targets behind CeeDee Lamb. He's only going to get better this year. You get him in round eight, that's an insane steal. In round nine, Caleb Williams. I've always said he's an excellent quarterback to draft in the 10th round, but you know now he might go at the end of the ninth round. Still great value. If you can stack him with Ndunze, that's great. If you can't, he's still a great quarterback option. Round 10, Gus Edwards going to be the RB1 on the Chargers because Dobbins gets hurt every single year. Round 11, Jacoby Myers, wide receiver 24 last season, even with that quarterback room. He's going to be great. And in round 12, Dontavian Wicks. You get the wide receiver two on this Packers team who has a rapport with Jordan Love in the 12th round. Come on, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you follow for more.